Shoney here. Uh, just got this uh, Toro recycler in, and uh, the complaint is that when you put the drive on, this wheel doesn't turn. Uh, that one will turn. This one just kind of lackadaisically just kind of moves a little bit. Um, I already diagnosed it, so I'm going to show you how to fix this. Um, so what you got to do first is we got to take this wheel off. So the half inch bolt, which is the axle. Be careful, there's a washer behind here. We don't want to lose this washer. This washer is generally inside this plastic piece. I already had this apart, but but this wheel cover, the shroud, looks like that. Okay. And that, that's got to stay in there. You can't lose that or you're going to you're going to strip out your bolt or or the bolts or the wheel's going to be real loose. All right, so once you get the wheel off, um, again, that shroud's going to be here. But we got to get this little circlip off right here. Sometimes a plier, sometimes a screwdriver. And then a little washer here. Okay. And then this comes off. And we gotta turn this until we get to this little key here in the shaft. And we gotta get that little key out. So once that comes out, there's a spring down inside here. All right, so down inside here is a spring, but it, see what happens, it gets all gummed up. And then that spring won't push that key out. And see if we can get a hold of that spring. We don't want to lose that. It's coming. There it goes. All right. So that's the spring, but you can see how gummed up that is. And that wasn't pushing that little key up into the tooth of the sprocket. All right, so again, you can see how that works. All right. So now we have to clean this spring, get all this gunk out of there, clean this groove out, and then reinstall everything. All right, now we're just gonna reverse the process. So I gotta put this spring in. Okay, now that's all clean. Okay, and then the key. See how it goes in and out like it's supposed to? All right. All right, and then when I'm putting this back together, so I'm gonna put this back together, but I gotta make sure that this goes on first. Otherwise, won't be able to get it on afterwards when you're putting this on you can make it so that this can roll forward but not backwards so i gotta spit it this way then i gotta hold the key down and get the gear over top there it spins forward not not backwards get a little bit of lube and then this washer goes on and then this washer goes on and this one has a little cutout. Both of these have a cutout to, to go in, so they go in in the right direction. Okay, there we go. Now, come in with the wheel. Again, we make sure that washer is there. No, we'll tighten it. All right, so. Now this should roll forward and then kind of make a noise when it rolls backwards. So when I start it, So now you can see both wheels are spinning, so that's the job. Um, it's not too difficult, it's just a lot of little parts you don't want to lose. Um, 
and make sure you get some uh, grease in there make sure everything's nice and clean uh, you guys got any questions let me know hit me up in the comments and uh, catch you next time thanks for watching